All right, guys, welcome aboard. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Garmin Steadicast heading sensor. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a heading sensor is, and you may be wondering if you need a heading sensor for your boat, what a heading sensor does is it provides with great accuracy the heading that the boat is moving in. The Garmin Steadicast heading sensor is an extremely affordable option that you could get for your boat and it's rated with an accuracy rating of plus or minus three degrees. Now what happens is that without a heading sensor, your GPS is gonna rely on the course over ground to determine the direction that the boat is moving in. So all the satellites that are tracking the GPS are tracking your position and as you start to move, then it's able to determine the heading that you're going in. But when you're navigating very slowly or you're turning very slowly, the GPS has a really hard time being able to lock in on the accurate heading that you're heading in. So what this means is that once your boat is moving, the satellites are going to be able to track your position and movement to give you the heading or the course over ground on your GPS screen. But then when you're navigating very slow at very slow speeds or you're turning very slowly, the GPS is not going to be able to give you an accurate course over ground heading because it's being influenced by the wind and the waves and the tides. Now with the addition of a heading sensor, you can get instant and accurate heading information, no matter how slow or how fast, or if you're turning or how rough the ocean may be. The reason for this is because the heading sensor uses the magnetic force of the earth in the same fashion that your traditional compass does on your boat, where the GPS heading is going off of your course over ground. So when you're moving, it's able to identify very quickly which direction you're heading in. But when you're standing still and you're rocking back and forth in the waves and the tide and the current, it starts confusing the GPS and the screen is gonna to start to spin. Now, if you're wondering how difficult this is to install, it's extremely easy. The uh, Steadicast heading sensor plugs right into your NEMA 2000 backbone and it gets its power from the NEMA 2000. So the only thing that you really need to do is mount it in a spot in your console where it's far away from the batteries and any metal objects that's going to give it metal interference and plug it right in to your NEMA 2000 system. Now when you plug it into your system, if you want to double check and make sure that your system is reading it, all you need to do is go into your NEMA 2000 setup and make sure that you could see it in the device list. So to check and see if your device is listed, what you want to do is you want to go to home, press settings, then you're going to press communications and you see the option that says NEMA 2000 setup. You're going to go ahead and press that button and then you have two options. It's called device list and label devices you want to go ahead and press device list and then there now you could see the Garmin Steadicast uh, heading sensor is on our device list. Now it says uncalibrated because we haven't calibrated yet. We're going out uh, right now to do that step. But when we go to calibrate it, we're going to also do it from the same screen and we'll do it again so you could see everything uh, as we do it live. Now, if you're thinking this might be super expensive and you might not be able to add this to your boat, the reality is that the Garmin Steadicast is an extremely affordable option for you to get extreme heading accuracy on your boat. Now, Garmin does have a lot of different options for different applications uh, as it relates to heading sensors. And you can see all of the options that they have at Garmin.com. And I'll put the link in the description of the video as well. You could click on it and go from there but the Steadicast is extremely affordable. Uh, it is the most inexpensive version that they have. Now, the one thing to note about the Steadicast heading sensor is that the heading sensor does not have steering capability. So what this means is that if you have an autopilot on your boat or you're thinking of adding an autopilot to your boat, this one's not gonna work because you need to get a heading sensor that has steering capability that could tell the computer for the autopilot, turn left, turn right, so that you could stay on course. But if you have a boat that doesn't have autopilot and you want to get heading accuracy, this is the best option that you could install on your boat. Now let's go ahead and get out of the channel and get to a safe space uh, inside of the bay here so I can walk you through exactly in detail all of the steps that you need to do 
to calibrate it. And I'm also going to show you some examples of what it does when you don't have the heading sensor on the boat. All right, guys, so we are <clears throat> out of the channel. We're in the bay. We're a good distance away. There's no, there's no boats out here right now. So we're in a good, safe spot. And like I mentioned, we were coming out of the channel. Before I actually dive into it, I want to show you some examples because I think it's going to be important for you to look at these examples and you might realize that you are having a similar problem on your boat and then you can see the benefit of adding the heading sensor. All right, guys, so now you can see we are sitting out here on the water and <clears throat> the gps is really moving a lot i'm not sure if my active uh, captain app it doesn't look like it's moving there i'm going to go ahead and turn it on on the secondary camera here so you can kind of see we are not moving at all but what's happening is that we are getting the waves and the waves are rocking the boat and that's making the screen move erratically like that which it's because the heading sensor is not calibrated. Now, what I'm doing is I'm turning and I'm turning to the right or to my starboard side and you could see how this GPS screen, it's just moving from side to side and gets really confusing and the boat really has no idea the direction that we're facing in right now. It's, it's reading 23 degrees there, we're actually facing 90 degrees. And this is because we're turning so slowly that the satellites cannot get an accurate reading on which way that the boat is moving because we're rocking so much with the waves. All right, so now you saw the examples of what the GPS screen is doing without the heading sensor being calibrated and applied to the system. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Guys, I'll tell you up front when you're going to calibrate your heading sensor, make sure that you're in a safe area where there's nothing around you, no hazards that you can hit and by the same token though you need to make sure that you have enough water depth right because there's one of the steps where you've got to navigate for i think it's 45 seconds in a straight line and then what's going to happen is you need to make sure the direction you're heading in you have enough water so that you don't run aground now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and jump right in all right guys so what you want to do we're obviously we're on our navigation chart we're going to go ahead and press home now we're going to go ahead and press settings then we're going to go ahead and press communications and then when you press communications we're going to press NEMA 2000 setup then from here you're going to see uh, two options the two options are device list and label devices we're going to go ahead and press device list then all of your devices are going to pop up on the screen we want to go ahead and press the Garmin Steadicast uh, heading sensor and then we're gonna go ahead and press review. Now, when you press review, you're gonna get another menu that's gonna pop up. And here you could go ahead and see where it says compass calibration, the very first one that says not done. So we're gonna go ahead and press that. And it's gonna tell you when you press it <clears throat> to go ahead and turn the boat 1.5 times in either direction to calibrate the compass, keep the boat level and steady while turning. So we've got our motors turned to the starboard side or the right hand side. We're going to go ahead and put the boat in gear. We're going to bring it up to a thousand RPMs and I'm going to go ahead and press begin. Now the boat is going to start turning and you see the status bar there on the bottom that tells you the percent that this step is uh, at in completion. And the boat is just going to go ahead and keep turning and it's gonna go ahead and keep doing this all the way, well, we're, we're turning it, you, you'll be manually turning it, but it's, you need to let it keep spinning like this all the way until it's at 100% and it says that it, this step is complete. There we go. Now it says that we are at 100%. 
okay and it tells us that it is a success we're going to go ahead and press OK. Now the next step, it says to bring the boat to a cruising speed with hazard free water ahead of us for 45 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and turn here. And we're going to go ahead and start bringing the boat up to speed. And then I'm going to go ahead and press begin. Now it's going through the same as step one, where it's showing you the percent that it is complete at. And we're going to go ahead and keep holding it here, the same steady heading until it is complete. All right. Now, it says that the heading sensor is complete. We're gonna go hit back here on our screen and go back to our navigation chart. All right guys, so that's how simple it is to calibrate it. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and show you and I'm going to turn a little bit here so we get in the waves. I'm going to show you the screen and you could see here how we are rocking and moving and the screen is holding steady because now that we've calibrated the heading sensor, the heading sensor has communicated to our entire system where the bow placement is because that was part of the calibration. So it knows where the bow of the boat is. And now what's happening is that you're getting your heading sensor or your heading based off of the direction that the bow is pointing. So you can see here as we're rocking back and forth, we're turning a little bit because we're turning with the wind. We've got the wind on our side, but you see the difference here in the GPS, how the screen is not moving. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in gear and I'm gonna turn all the way to starboard. And you could see is as we're turning the boat, how it turns very steadily on the GPS screen and it's not moving back and forth and bouncing around like it was bouncing around before. All right, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to install and calibrate the Steadicast heading sensor for your boat. If you wanna check out more helpful Garmin tips, check out this playlist next. Thank you for watching and stay safe out there.